Hello everyone, this is Lucy05 and welcome to the Google Command Central channel and today is a video compilation of all my simple custom paint jobs that I have been doing since last year. Um, well, it's just only in 2009. After that, I was gotten very la lazy and you know, decided not to do it anymore because, well, I'm lazy. And my obsession for doing something only lasts for so long. But anyways, I would like to thank to one of three nights Dave for inspiring me to actually do a compilation video on my simple custom paint job. So without further ado, let's begin the show. Now it all began when they turned out the 25th anniversary, the Resolute Cobra Trooper. Now I really love the figure, I really love the sculpt. I just don't like how it can't stand on its own with the base line because of his tiny feet but the scalp is absolutely good so good that I decided to wanting to well make a variation on this figure I got a f at least five of these figures and well it's enough to make a squad but it doesn't they don't have a officer to lead them around and Here's one. I basically took the original figure from the Crimson Cobra Officer from the Resolute Fight Pack, took the helmet and just painted. So now I have a officer for my blue suit guys. And if that's not bad enough first things first I didn't paint all my base tan with this with this fashion because I'm too lazy there you have it here's a close-up picture And it's not just one, but two, three, and an officer. Hmm. Yes, they are all painted using this figure as a template. Yes, this figure, this exact color to paint into that. Move that on one side, away from this guys. Now, I need a Cobra Commander, especially on the desert team. So, I still retain a sort of darker uniform because I really like it. Here's the Resolute Cobra Commander. And I needed a tank driver for my for my tanks, my one to eighteen scale tanks. And this thing is supposed to connect to the tank. Next up is the vehicles. And this is the Cobra gunship. Originally I painted it into black as shown in this picture. Then I decided because of the paint job, because I used semi-gloss paint job uh, and I didn't use any clear spray to coat it, it tends to chip off. My first time of using a spray paint job anyway. So I decided to screw the paint, black paint, deal with the blue and you have it. Now, Cobra logo on one side, Cobra logo on the other side. Pop it down, there's a sticker for the control panel. Inside. And engine. Sorry, it's a bit too dark. Hmm. 
And, yes, bombs still work. Bang in. Put the bombs back in. Took me about five, six hours. Next up, the land vehicles. Tanks. The infantry fighting vehicle. Rims are all painted. Rope has been painted. The well, the exhaust pipe has been painted. to saw figure in next up my actual tanks Cobra tank painted in a classic blue of four Cobra. Got the stickers all over. Hatches is can be open. To place your Cobra troops inside. Next up, another infantry fighting vehicle. Look at this stuff. On the stickers has been applied. Took me a longer because I have to dismantle the entire thing to paint it. I think it would take about eight hours, I guess. Back door, top hatch can be open and flip open. This door can be open, it's a bit tight though. Missile launches. Hatches can be open. But it would take some doing because it's a bit, bit pain in the ass. Okay. Yeah. Tank driver seat. And there you have it. Uh, I do have a few more, but it's just a minor touch up. But the major ones, like my Cobra Desert Troopers, everything is falling apart. My tanks and everything else, all painted. Ugh. So, I thank you all for watching, this is Lucy05 and I'm signing off.